One of the um, important points about patients with advanced lung cancer uh, is that 30 to 40 percent of patients will develop bone metastases. I think it's important to recognize this is not bone cancer. This is lung cancer that's moved to the bone. And in 30 to 40 percent of patients at some point who have advanced stage lung cancer, they will develop bone metastases. And the question is, how do you manage uh, these patients? Now, of course, they're going to be treated with chemotherapy or targeted therapies or immunotherapies to help uh, control the cancer. Uh, but one of the other um, strategies that's employed are bone strengthening agents. And they come in really two forms. And the goals of giving a bone strengthening agent really are to delay skeletal related events or fractures and also strengthen the bones. And I would say that they're the standard of care for any patient with lung cancer who has bone metastases. So currently there are two approved drugs uh, for lung cancer patients with bone metastases. The first is called zoledronic acid. Um, it's given every three weeks and it's a class of drugs called a bisphosphonate. These drugs are also used for osteoporosis. And what we know about zoledronic acid or Zometa is that it does delay skeletal related events or fractures in patients who get these drugs uh, who have bone metastases and lung cancer. The second uh, class of drugs are called rank ligand inhibitors. And the drug that's approved for lung cancer is denosumab or Exgeva. Uh, this drug is a little different in its administration. It's given subcutaneously rather than intravenously, and it's also given every four weeks rather than every three weeks. And I think what we know about these drugs both is that they uh, do uh, help strengthen the bones and delay skeletal-related events, but there's a hint that denosumab, that second drug I mentioned, may also have some sort of anti-tumor effect. And I'm not sure that this is completely uh, ironed out in the literature, but we do know, uh, at least in one uh, study uh, published in 2012, that patients who actually got denosumab as a bone strengthening agent actually live longer than those patients who got zoledronic acid. Now, whether we can make or glean any major messages from this, I'm not sure. Uh, nevertheless, my practice has been any patient with lung cancer uh, who develops bone metastases, um, they need to be put on one of these two drugs. Uh, these drugs do have side effects. One of the side effects uh, with zoledronic acid uh, is osteonecrosis of the jaw. This is, happens very in a very, very small percentage of patients, um, so I don't think that's enough of concern for me not to use the drug. Both of these drugs are extremely well tolerated and actually do help uh, with the endpoints that I mentioned in terms of delaying fracture for those patients with bone meds, but also potentially improving outcomes specifically with denosumab.